What's up? I feel kind of sick all of a sudden. Even someone as dense as you can feel it? Who are you calling? Wait, does that mean you can feel it too? Ugh, what a feeling. Yuri. Estelle too? I'm fine. Don't overexert yourself. We can rest here and have a look around. Seriously, what's going on? Ever since we got here... If a monster attacked us right now, I don't think I'd be up to it. Saying stuff like that is the best way to attract monsters, you know. <sighs> Yuri! If you're gonna keel over, couldn't you do it in the middle of a crowded city street? I can't be expected to be there to catch you every time. Thank you. I'm still doing okay. This is air. What? I thought air couldn't be seen with the naked eye. If it's dense enough, it can be. Estelle, weren't you saying something about that earlier? That dense air is bad for the body. Yes. High density air can occasionally have very negative effects on the human body. It made you pass out in the Koi Woods, too. Really? Wow. Maybe we should get out of here. We still haven't made sure if the mercenaries are here or not. I guess that's true, but... Let's keep moving. It looks like this Blastia is linked to the door. How do we open it? It seems that we have to carefully put together the symbols to form the right phrase. Wouldn't it be faster to break in? That's not a good idea. What if it makes the door stop working? Hey, something's coming out of it. So, should we just put some letters in here? Hey! Didn't we pick up some odd pieces of paper? Actually, come to think of it, could this be a clue to the passcode? Seems we need to use our mind to get an answer. Let's look at the paper again. that Blastia is causing it. And probably this strange feeling as well. Huh. He's similar to the ones at Emid Hill in Capua Noor. Is it broken? When a Blastia breaks, it loses its ability to take in air. There's no way it would get like this. So, what's going on? I don't know. What could he be trying to do? W was that a monster? Take it easy, you're not feeling well. And there aren't any doctors around here. Huh? But... but I... Ah! The barrier's gonna fail. Don't worry, that's a reverse barrier. Reverse barrier? It's a powerful barrier for holding monsters. He won't get out of there anytime soon. But the air here... this isn't normal. I got a bad feeling about this. It's starting to disappear! Rita! Calm down, I'll have it fixed in no time. So who are the numbskulls that decided to go and ignore our friendly warning? Sorry, none of us here are nice enough to take your friendly warning seriously. Huh, <laughs> you don't say. Well now, if it isn't that runt Carol who got his sorry butt cut from the team. That's just what we want. You won't just sit tight and behave yourselves. We're only interested in taking out this big brute. You sure talk big. Taking care of a pet is a big responsibility, you know. Don't go abandoning him for someone else to take care of. <gasps> him again! better. The barrier's down! Of course! That dragon freak broke the Blastia! You're dead, freak! Dead! Ah! 
Yeah, that's it. Show me some anger. Show me what a monster's like. Now I'm gonna mop the floor with you. Like he wants the first piece of action, Clint. Well, come and get some. like it before. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I guess we gotta take care of someone else's pet. monster was huge. Hey, what's with the kid? Oh. I feel power running all through my body. Oh, I feel... Okay, sure. Carol! There ain't a monster alive that wasn't born to be my punching bag! Master, it's too dangerous! This monster's mine, even if it costs me my life!
something comes up, and it's just poof, you're gone. Always, always running away by yourself. It's not like that. Not like what? Like I said back in Halor. I'm not talking about Halor. If you're not ashamed of anything, then shouldn't you hurry back to your friends? It's just that... No need to explain to me. I think you've got other people who'll listen to you. Huh? Guys. Carol, I'm so glad you're safe. Where the hell did you go? We were really in a jam back there. I'm... I'm sorry. Hey, at least you made it out in one piece. I'm leaving. Wait! You think long and hard about what you've done. That's all I have to say to you. Hey, cut it out! Let's get going, Carol. We're all tired. Yuri... Man, we were way off. The Blood Alliance was nowhere to be seen. No kidding. We'll have to take any information that guy gives us with a grain of salt. Guy? You don't mean... Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna roast that deadbeat the moment I see him! Let's... let's take it easy on the way back. It's not like I... Hey, you're gonna get left behind. I'm coming! So air is more than just a handy substance for making Blastio work, huh? Oh, the questions amateurs ask, I swear. Air affects everything in the world. Our own bodies, the growth of living organisms, even the weather. So the Blastia in Rago's palace that controlled the weather was interfering with the air? Correct. So then, that means the air here is interfering with the processes in our bodies. I mean, I can handle it, but is it really a good idea for us to be in air this dense? We shouldn't stay here too long, especially runts like you who are still growing. The younger you are, the more of an effect the air will have. Huh, guess that makes sense. So I finally found you. That's far enough. You lackeys must have had a lot of time on your hands if you crossed the ocean just to see us. <laughs> You're in no position to talk down to the likes of me. Now, princess, right this way. Huh? What does he mean, princess? The princess standing right here in front of us. Y yuri But how did you... What? Estelle's a princess? I suspected as much myself. Rita, you too? Wait, you've got to be kidding! And what will happen to my friends? Why, they'll be drawn and quartered for abducting a member of the royal family, of course. Please, wait! I wasn't abduct- Ah, oh, what a mouthy young lady you are. This way, please. Estelle! Now die like the flies you are. Arrest the culprit, Yuri Lowell, and his accomplices! You! The Swan Brigade! Just a minute. This prize catches mine. I won't let you take him from me that easily. Catch! Our duties are not to be carried out in the fashion of a hunt. <laughs> did I not also hear someone mention dying earlier? You did. What is wrong with condemning criminals to their deaths? Should not criminals be captured and judged in accordance with the laws? <laughs> I suppose I can let you have these little worms. If it isn't Schwan, it's Flynn. These upstart commoners are so full of themselves. Even that commandant. This way, please, your highness. Do watch your step. Um, but I... Yes, right this way. Arrest them! In the name of Captain Schwan! Okay, Yuri Lowell gang. It's curtains for you, I say! What do you mean, gang? Hey! Get your hands off me! Do you know who I am? But I haven't done anything! Don't hurt them! I beg you! Estelle, don't worry. 
Yuri! Just start walking. Walk, I say. Ow! Hey, watch it with the pulling. Sir Schwan, we shall take these undesirables to Heliord. All members, fall out! Continuing on, we will review the particulars of your 18th crime. Please do. Is it true that you threw a knight sent to collect the taxes into the river? Wow, I'd forgotten about that. Was that you, Tweedalay? That's right! I was in bed with a cold for three whole days thanks to you. How many more of these are there? This is getting pretty boring. I wonder what'll happen to me. So I'll write, you have no signs of remorse in the report then. Where's that do-nothing captain of yours anyway? What was his name? Schwan? Playing hooky because he's the big shot. You dare mock our captain. So Schwan is a legendary hero and a veteran of the Great War ten years ago. So basically his eminence would never stoop so low as to deal with nobodies like us. Quiet, I say. Quiet! Getting on to your next offense. Your Excellency, Commandant Alexei, to what do we owe this pleasure? Alexei? What? All your crimes are hereby pardoned by the good graces of their highnesses Esteles and Yoder. What? But these foul criminals have disturbed the peace of the Empire! The Imperial Knights thank you for rescuing Prince Yoder and protecting Princess Esteles. Please, take this. We've got no need for this. It's not like we did those things for the sake of the Knights. I see. What about Estelle? She has just given her consent to be returned to the Imperial capital. What? Well, I guess she is a princess after all. The princess is waiting at the inn. We would be pleased if you made an appearance. I was so surprised to find out that Estelle was a princess. I had a feeling. She knew Flynn, and she was obviously brought up as a noble. Shut up. You knew already. Maybe. Oh, man. I wonder if I was rude to her without realizing it. Your language has been unpardonable. Captain Carroll, the sentence for insulting royalty is... decapitation. Been nice knowing you. What about you? You're way more rude than I am. Guess it's off with both our heads, then. What? Th that's... Idiots. So Estelle's going back home, huh? You don't have a problem with this, Yuri? It's not my decision to make. Well, I guess that's true, but... More importantly, where are we? This is the city of Heliord. Geographically speaking, it's located between Torum Harbor and the city of Dondrest. It was only just recently built. It's still a very new town. If you follow this road to the east, you'll hit Kerbakram, where we were earlier. Cut through the west and go to the northwest to reach Dondrest. I see. Well, maybe I'll have a look around the town a bit. I've got my own business to attend to. Hmm, what to do?
Ah, oh, so both of you were here the whole time. Yuri, watch your speech in front of His Royal Highness. You could at least show due courtesy to the gracious partner of your crimes. It's okay, Flynn. Miss Esteles and I acted of our own volition. You've already heard about Lady Esteles, then, I see. Yeah, I heard. Yuri, I thought that traveling with you would be to Her Highness's own benefit, but... The royal family can't be allowed to romp all over the countryside without restraint. That's not very convincing coming from you. <laughs> I apologize. But now especially, it's undesirable for the royal family's concerns to be brought into the public eye. Concerns? You mean whether you or the princess is next in line for the Imperial Throne? Correct. There are currently two opinions. That of the Imperial Knights, and that of the Council. Your Highness! There's no use hiding any details from him when he already knows so much. The Imperial Knights are backing my own ascension to the throne. Meanwhile, Miss Estelis has the support of the Council. She's a princess after all. Yes. Her relation may be a distant one, but she's unmistakably of royal blood. That's got to be tough for the Knights, too. Even if she's the rival of their candidate for the throne, it's not like they can just stop protecting the princess, is it? Yuri, this matter is... I don't know anyone odd enough to be interested in information like this. Well, I'm gonna go drop by Esteliza's place, and then I'm gonna take a load off at the inn. Thanks for the chat. Wait, I you? say! Hey, it's Tweedle A and Tweedle B. Don't call us that! Something I can help you two with? Even if you have a direct pardon from His Highness Yoder, I say that does not change the fact that you committed crimes against the Empire! As members of the Imperial Knights, our honor will not allow us to simply let that slide! Yuri Lowell! You will battle with us here, I say, fair and square! If you beat us, we'll recognize you as innocent of your crimes! Don't make claims you can't back up. Since when did you two have the authority to forgive people their crimes? Regardless, we must battle! BATTLE! If that's what it takes to make you happy, I guess I can humor you. Excellent! Come with us! Kiss your freedom goodbye, or it ends today! I say, prepare to face the Imperial Knight's ultimate fighting technique! The first art! Again, you're claiming regular techniques as your own. That doesn't belong to the Knights. I say be quiet! The burst art, huh? I've heard of it before, but... You don't know how it's done? You fool! I say we shall show you! But before that happens, you'll be reduced to no more than a worthless caterpillar crawling on the ground! Rah! I say... Rah! Maybe it has something to do with Overlimit. Go! Show him how it's done, Atacor! I say watch me now! The arcane art of the Imperial Knights! It didn't hit him! What are you doing? Huh. Burst arts can be linked from an arcane art. I wonder if I could imitate that. <laughs> There's no way an amateur could do something like that, I say. And now, over limit. I'll blow you away! No, no. I'm full, thank you. Ah, be careful! Yuri Lowell's going to attack! Arcane Art, Crushing Eagle! Ah. You're dead! Ah. 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 That's enough for today! Ah. First Art! I say, what a terrible turn of events! Ah. 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 I'm 
find, uh, I think. As your rage! One shot! Oh, oh. Man, I was just getting warmed up. Man, nothing like some good exercise before turning in for the night. I guess I'll hurry back to the inn.